if you do not know, if you've never been to our channel before, I recently started a family child care at the beginning of 2016. Um, there's many reasons why, which I mentioned in a video, which I'll link below. Um, but today, I really want to show you around. Um, if you are interested in at all, or maybe you have your own family child care in your home, hopefully I can give you some ideas. I'm just starting out, so I'm sure this will evolve over time. And I do want to preface this by saying this is... I'm just going to show you my daycare level and not my whole house, even though my whole house is used. Um, but we try to keep as much of the daycare related things on this level so that it's not overtaking our whole house. But we do use our kitchen, obviously, for cooking, our dining room for eating, our living room, um, just while kids are kind of play or watch TV for a little bit while I make lunch and breakfast. Um, and then our bedrooms are used just for napping children. So the main bulk of the activities happen on this level and that is what I'm going to show you today. I can't wait to show you around. So this is the door where families enter. It's actually our back door. Um, we do not have an attached garage, so our garage is back there and there's a nice spot where on a corner lot so they can pull up, um, come through a gate, come up, and come right in. So we had to make this area a defined entryway so it's separated from the main daycare space over here which I'll show you and we did that by adding these cubbies I got them on Amazon a really good price I think it was like 300 total for all seven um, there's two different units a two unit and a five unit and kids can come in and hang their coats up right here put their boots down we have a nice rug down here that protects our floors and then we have little plastic mat things to catch water and stuff like that to the right, parents can come right here. This is actually our parent mailboxes. I have this cascading file folder thing that I got on Amazon for about $11. It's got six different um, colored files and I can stick different things in there like if the kids draw pictures or if I have an update to my policies, I can put them right in there. I have these just covering their names for privacy. And then up here I keep a copy of my handbook so that if a parent's ever like disputing something or if I need to just check it because I have a lot of different policies in place it's right here for me to see and then I keep extra forms in here like um, in Minnesota we have different ratios that we have to follow um, I have forms for like swaddling infants and things like that just forms that I might want to reference um, in a moment's notice and I can find them all right here so that's been a really nice feature um, and over here we have our board. So this is the board where I have the calendar, obviously. So, um, and I think I got this at Target. Very reasonably priced. And it's got all these different um, sticky kind of like window clings that you can um, put the numbers on and everything. And I just keep track of, it's kind of got rubbed against, but um, I just keep track of different things like music classes, Zumba classes. We have teachers come in. Um, if we're having a special field trip or a party day, that will be on here as well. So parents can just kind of see and I can kind of see a month glance. And then over here is our happenings board where I just um, put any notes that I want the parents to see up. Like, please check your mailbox daily. Thank you. And then our first Zumba class is this Wednesday. So I have that on here as well. I got this board at Hobby Lobby. And I use these really awesome board markers by, I don't know how you would... Calore, I'm guessing would be how you pronounce it, and they are very bold and work really well. Um, and then what I really did to define the space is we added this gate, um, and it just pops in like that. It's not very sturdy, but it's just a nice way to define the area so when kids come in, they're not running in my whole house with messy boots. And then when infants and stuff are playing in the playroom, they're not going and chewing on dirt and stuff that's in here. It's just worked out really well. And I can just close it and swing it around um, when the daycare is open or if we're getting our, or when the daycare is closed or we're getting our shoes and stuff on. Um, so now let's go into the main daycare area. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. We have a door down to our basement, which we're not using right now for the child care because we're still working on it, but we do hope to utilize it in the future and I'll definitely refilm this video at that point um, but we do have a pack and play here um, notice it's under shelves I don't use this when it's under the shelves I pull it out but this is for infants to play if we're doing something um, that's kind of messy or has small pieces that way they're not getting into it and it's also where the toddler naps I pull this out um, during nap time and they sleep there um, and these shelves, I just um, store some of the bigger toys that kids have to ask to get down. Like this has really small pieces, so 
we don't play that unless the infants are sleeping or contain um, and some of our like little people sets and all the actual people um, and this is just a big paper pull out system that I can put on our little activity table if they want to color um, but it's kind of big so I leave it up here and then if you come in this is the main daycare space it's not huge I don't have enough space to do like different centers um, but it's been working really well kids tend to play like right on top of each other anyway so this works out really well and then I don't have a very big group right now either so um, it's just enough space for us um, over here I have our circle time calendar and weather I'm very play based so we don't have like a rigid structure for our circle time um, but if the kids are interested and we're talking about you know the weather outside we'll come and talk about that here um, I keep all baby toys that I'm fine with babies getting into at any point of the day in this bin, um, in this bin system so they can just grab them and then I know which ones to sanitize more often. Um, but if they put them in their mouth, I set them aside and I sanitize them as well. Um, we have a teepee that um, actually was something my aunt made me when I was little so I can pull that out if we want to play it, rotate it in and out. Um, I might not always keep it here but um, it works well. We have our little horse that the kids love to play with. And then in here we have a really big Calyx um, system from Ikea. It's the 4x4. This is where we keep most of our toys. I try to keep the toys that I don't care if any age gets into at the bottom, like dolls and Barbies. And all I did with these is just um, take an index card, write on it with permanent marker, and then um, laminate it. And these are just shop co bins. When they're on sale, they're like three or four bucks a piece, and they're have all the different colors you can imagine and so I just use twine to kind of tie that on there to label them. Um, we have dress-up clothes, we have trains, wooden blocks, um, this doesn't hold kitchen toys anymore. I actually have them in here because the kids like to play with them so much that that way they can get to them. Instruments, we love waffle blocks uh, which if you don't know what they are they're just blocks like this that you can put together and build things. We have a whole bunch of Duplo blocks that um, they don't play with as often and they do have some smaller pieces so they have to ask for that. We've got cars, big blocks, and then up at the top I keep our fan which I run um, during nap time to kind of block some of the noise out. And then we have binders for all the kids, so my daughter and then I just numbered each child. Um, and I keep all their forms and stuff so I have them when licensing comes or if I have to add a new form or refer to a form, they're all right here. And then I have various other binders I'm still working on organizing, so I haven't labeled them yet, but just, you know, different things that I would want to reference. And then I have all my um, child care related books, uh, specifically on, like, the business side right here, so I know where to find them. Okay, so one interesting feature of our space is that we have this humongous fireplace that I don't know why they decided to have it jutting into the middle of the room when they could have set it back even four feet. Don't ask me. Um, this is an exterior wall, but they decided to do that. It's a beautiful feature of the home, so we didn't want to like get rid of it or anything. So we tried to make do with it. So what we actually did, my dad's a carpenter, so he's very helpful in this area, but he just cut some wood to kind of go over the sides because this has like the hearth here and then it has these two other extensions of it on each side that are stone so they would be very dangerous for kids to run into and hit their head on if they were running around or climbing on it. Um, so it goes over that and then we use foam, um, high density foam like three inch and then batting and we covered it and then covered it in fleece very cheap so I could just easily recover them if they got really dirty. Um, and this has worked out so well. They're very soft. And then we put this unit on top to actually cover the fireplace. It's a wood burning fireplace, so it's not like we're covering up a gas insert or anything, which would probably not be recommended. Um, but it's just a blank space in there. And this is um, mounted to the mantle, which is very sturdy. So we just keep books and different toys in here, our fire truck. Um, and then the little like babies can still, if they're crawling and cruising, they can still get to these board books. Um, but they can't get to like the more fragile page books, but the older kids can. Um, and this has become our little book nook, so kids climb up here. Um, and I keep the books that kind of go with the theme we're talking about that week here, so they can reference them and we can read them for story time. These are all, we're talking about weather right now. And then I just keep some extra books up here. This is really nice. We added shelves here so that we can 
keep a lot more storage. I'll definitely be filling these up over the years, um, but we have like parachutes, puzzles and stuff I don't want them getting into too often without my help are high up. Um, and then over here, we have our chair where I feed the infants and I also read to kids here. And then behind this, kids are not allowed to climb over here. This is where I keep just like extra baby stuff that we don't want taking up space all the time. And then I keep a lot of craft supplies like Play-Doh and um, pipe cleaners, construction paper and that kind of thing up here that I can get to, um, but the kids aren't into all the time. And then I actually was a teacher and these palms were in my classroom, but I still love the colors. And so I just tied them all together and hung them up. And I think it's a really cute feature of the room. And then the last area in the main daycare room is just this area over here. We have our table, which I got on Amazon very affordably. I have extra chairs hidden over there, um, but the kids can come and freely draw in color at any time. Um, and it's really nice because they have such a beautiful view out the window of the weather and they can come up and look at any time. I love having these windows so big that all the kids can see up them. And then I have this paper organizer here where um, even one year olds or like one and a half year olds can reach up here and get construction paper or coloring books. Um, there's clipboards, rulers, and then I have extra supplies up here um, that they would need to ask for. This little area has been really nice. I use this as like my little reference area. Kids are told they can't touch any of the stuff up here. I keep my planner so I can easily reference what we're talking about um, and keep my coffee up here and a thermos so they're not getting into it. And then I keep little notes to myself up here so I have our daily schedule um, with things that I tend to forget like having them wash their hands before meals. Um, bathroom break before nap and this is just a quick glance thing I can easily see and then I have my cleaning and upkeep schedule up here as well um, so that I can while the kids are playing really nicely I can say oh it's Monday let's quick wipe down the knobs and switches and things like that it's just really nice to have right there um, these bins are not completely full yet but they will be over time in this one I keep table games so if um, there's different things they can use like extra sketches things like that so if I need to keep them kind of contained we can do that um, and then most of the bins will be used for the kids nap supplies so their blankets right now how I have them nap is just in a sleeping bag on the floor with their pillow it's very comfortable um, they've had no problem napping that way and then younger kids obviously are either in the pack and play or upstairs if they're an infant um, but we keep all those supplies in there so they know exactly where to find them so that's our daycare room. I will show you our laundry room, which is also an extension of the daycare room. Okay, so down the hall, not really, like right next door to the daycare room is the stairway up to the kitchen. And then we have the bathroom back here, which I'm not gonna show you, it's just a bathroom. But then we have our laundry room, which is a very vital to this daycare space. So what we do in here, um, my husband and I, we keep all our shoes in here so they're not cluttering up all our space. This is an Ikea unit. It's really nice, very affordable, um, and we're really lucky to have this space, and we can definitely still maximize even more space over time. This house has a built-in desk here, so this is what I use for the changing station. I have the changing pad. It's a wipeable one. It's got some fabric on the side, but this fits with licensing. I've got my Lysol wipes that are required um, for sanitizing wipes and then I keep diapers in this basket. Any extra di uh, diapers I keep in this closet over here which is really nice. Up above we keep our tools and stuff like that and then these have a magnetic closure so I just open them up and I it's not very organized but I have extra wipes, extra um, diapers, Lysol wipes, that kind of thing right here. Um, and then I also keep, if you look over here, I keep our storm and fire log and then our crib inspection logs here so that I can easily reference them at any time. I keep um, any diaper creams and stuff like that that I don't want the kids getting into in here and the kids aren't allowed to just come play in here. It's, it's always um, boarded off in some way. And then I just keep like um, drool bibs and stuff in here. Um, over here I keep hair supplies and like the bulb syringe in here, um, but we haven't done a lot of organizing yet. Um, and then I keep kids backup clothes in here as well and any other diapering needs. 
And it's really nice too because I can just run in and do laundry at any time and then if the kids clothes get really dirty and I just want to wash them I can. Um, got garbages in here and then our dogs food is in here as well. But as you can see we can fit a lot more storage up here. We plan on adding upper cabinets over here and over here and maybe replacing this with lower cabinets all the way across to really maximize the storage. But this has worked out so well to keep the smells out of the extra um, of the daycare space and to keep the kids out of all the diapering essentials um, and to have that not take up space in our daycare room. So I really hope you guys like this video and enjoyed this tour around our daycare space. I'm really, really enjoying running my own daycare and I am loving the way we set it up. Um, we've spent a lot of time planning for this and a lot of time was spent preparing our home for this so it's been working out really well. Um, if you have your own daycare, I would love to know some tips that you gained from this video as well as some of your own tips for running um, a daycare out of your own home. And if you don't have a dedicated daycare space, I would love to know tips you have for sharing your home with your daycare and things like that. I am very blessed to have been able to purchase a house knowing I would do daycare um, and we bought one that would work really well for it. Um, but not everybody has that option, so I would love to know what you do to kind of keep sanity in your home and keep work-life balance in your home through the way you set everything up. If you like this video, I would love if you would thumbs up this video and subscribe. There will be more coming like it, and we also do lots of videos on marriage, cooking, exercise, faith. Um, we do daily vlogs as well, and I will definitely keep updating you on my daycare space. And we also do videos about organizing and planning and that kind of thing. So stick around for more. I hope you like this video.